Hi, I'm Johanna Lee and I'm a writer for InsideEdition.com. For the past few weeks, I've been researching a story about wet nursing. Wet nursing is when a woman breastfeeds another person's baby, whether that's a friend's baby or a client's baby, depending on whether they're being paid. A new mom might want to engage in this sort of practice if they're not able to breastfeed their baby, but still want their baby to have milk from the breast. Sometimes mothers who adopt newborns might try to hire for the service, or sometimes it might be a same-sex couple who both want the experience of breastfeeding their baby. So to learn a little bit more about this practice, I spoke to an international board certified lactation consultant, Kate DeMarco Ruck. Families who are interested in wet nursing or cross nursing should make sure they have a simple blood test done that checks for HIV, HTLV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, syphilis, and tuberculosis. They should make sure that the woman who will be nursing the baby is in good health and isn't on any medications that contraindicate to breastfeeding. They should also keep in touch with their own lactation consultant and family physician or pediatrician to make sure everything they're doing is appropriate for their baby and their family. Historically, an upper class woman might try to hire a lower class woman to breastfeed their baby. Wet nursing also has roots in slavery where a slave owner might coerce her slave who was just a new mother to breastfeed for her. Wet nurses can be paid and employed, but oftentimes you find it's more of an informal relationship. For example, I spoke to a community of military mothers who just so happened to begin this practice wet nursing for each other's babies, just to give each other a helping hand. As with any relationship that your child has outside of their parent, it's good to set up boundaries and have an open line of communication of what your expectations are and what your fears or your concerns are. As one of the moms I spoke to put it eloquently, when you're military, your family's often very far away, so your military friends become your family. And so in that sense, it's not really that uncommon that these military moms are breastfeeding for each other. One of the women I spoke to, Alanta, she started looking for jobs in wet nursing as a way to help cope with her grief after she had a miscarriage at 20 weeks along. She reached out to one of her friends who offered to let her wet nurse her baby and she said that really helped her mourn and helped her grieve. We often find that women who suffered a miscarriage or a stillbirth choose to donate milk or to wet nurse or cross nurse. And this can be a really positive step in their grieving process and help them while they're mourning the loss of their child. What surprised me working on this story was that this sort of practice is not uncommon or it's not rare. You get a lot of one-off shots, moms who have just too much on their hands, and another mom who says, give me your baby, you can take a shower. It's been really fascinating to learn so much about a topic that is so rarely discussed, but is so commonplace in a lot of mothers' lives.